Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching. My name is Julie and I am going to give you my next update for my project lip products. I'm trying to use up 17 lip products in 2017 and if you want to see more I'll link some above so you can see my intro through um, what I've used up already but I have a little cheat sheet here of all my products. <laughs> I have used up 13 lip products in 2017 so far. And you might be like, wow, that seems like a lot. But note, two of them I finished up in January. And those were two I, I had even before I started this project. So I'm counting myself at 11. And a couple of these are chapsticks. So a couple of those don't count. So I'm going off, even though I've finished up 13 lip products, that I finished up nine in this product. And one of them is a quote unquote half. But that is neither here nor there. If you want to see more, look back at some other videos. So I'm going to go through the products I've made no change in because <laughs> I haven't touched yet and then I'm going to go through um, a couple changes that I've made and then the ones that I've made progress on. So let's dive in. So the ones that I have made no progress on whatsoever because these are my fall winter shades. So I'm going to go through these really fast. I've got the L'Oreal Paris Lilac same place, haven't touched it, using that for fall. I've got the Bare Minerals Lip Gloss. I'm calling this the orange shade, but I haven't touched it. I've got the Touch of Spice by Maybelline in 660. As you can see, I was on the top. I used a little bit of this um, at the beginning of the year, but I haven't used it since. I've got this NYX Butter Lip Balm. This is in the shade Cookie. I think it's in the shade cookie. Oh, excuse me, brownie. I knew it was something sweet and I am there, but I haven't touched this actually at all this year, which is a bad sign. Um, <laughs> that's really bad actually that I haven't used it in an entire year. I've got this Make Mini lipstick and you can see the top there, move there. Okay, these are all progresses previously, but ones I haven't done. And then this Too Faced lipstick in uh, Teddy Bear. I was there at the beginning at the beginning of the year. As you can tell, I love this during the winter time, so I'm not afraid that I'm going to finish that up. Um, those are just kind of my fall shades, so I've kind of um, put them on the back burner for right now. Okay, so I did figure something out, and that is I've got a lot of lip products. <laughs> As if you saw my, one of my very first photos I posted, I posted something that uh, went through the numbers of everything that I own, and I owned over 200 lip products. So I wanted to do this project so I could attempt to bring that number down, but I also wanted to see if I still like some of these products or if they'd even gone bad. And there's one product. This is the e.l.f. liquid lipstick. What is it called? Luscious liquid lipstick. And in the shade Pink Lemonade, I was there, one update, and I just used some more of it. And I've decided that this lip gloss is no good. And the reason, ooh, there's my water bottle. The reason why I say that is because it's really, really sticky. And it's to the point where I put it on, it looks absolutely beautiful. I love the shade. It's like, um, it has give, gives a good color. But when you put your lips together, it's really sticky. And I'm, I rub my lips together a lot. Like I'm constantly doing that motion. And what happens is it gathers in the middle of my lip and all of a sudden I've got like a really pink like in the in the center, in the center of my bottom lip, like hugging my cupid's bow on the top lip and I can't smear it back out. Like I could, but then my hands get all sticky. So I have to say goodbye to this one. It's just not worth my time going through it. This is a dollar or was a dollar when I bought it and I'm sure they still are a dollar. I mean, it's e.l.f. Uh, but it's just not worth my time to go through it when I have to take it off after like 20 minutes of use. So that is being decluttered. Now to replace that, I'm adding another bite stick. And as you know, I've used up one of these. One of these have gone bad. And this is in the shade pomegranate. And by beauty, of course it's food grade. You can see the mark there. I need to use these up because one already went bad, so now I'm starting to get nervous that this one's going bad because I love this shade. This is the perfect 
holiday red shade. It is a true red. The cap gets really dirty though, I will say that. Like, look at that packaging, how it just gets super sticky. And I don't know why that is. It's not like I'm going crazy and shoving this in the cap. Whatever. Whatever, but look at that red. Oh. It's like a, it's a blue-based red, true red with a hint of cranberry in it. Which is funny because the shade is pomegranate. But I see just a hint. I love it. I think it's going to be perfect for this winter. And I was actually looking to add a red into this grouping of lip products because I used up my reds all at the beginning. So I'm glad that this is now a part of it. So this is going to be a replacement for that elf so I can still hit 17 lip products. Then I've got four products that I have made progress on. And the reason that I haven't finished one up this month, which is not good, but that was my goal. But I wanted to start using all the lip glosses because I'm finding that I like lip glosses, but they just don't last as long, so I have to constantly reapply them, which isn't bad, but it's not what I want to do every day. I'm much more, I like bullet lipsticks. I know I'm crazy, I just like bullet lipsticks. I like liquid lipsticks. Um, I don't even care that they dry up my lips a little bit. <laughs> it's you just, you know, it's, you like what you like. And so I am learning that about me. So let's go through the three lip glosses excuse me, four lip glosses I've really been working on. So the first one is this Tarte Lip Surgeons one. This is in the shade Magic. This is all in, also in my five by fall. As you can see, I started, woo, all in my hand there. I started at the very top. That probably had one use to it. And now I am down there. This is a travel size. And Magic is a nice pale coral shade. It's like a peach coral. And I think I'll be able to finish that by next month. If I'm not able to finish this by next month, something happened. <laughs> I'm gonna pro I'm gonna pull the stopper on this one because I like it enough to do that. But it's okay. It's still a little sticky. Um, I will not be buying lip glosses, hopefully ever more, <laughs> just because I now know myself better. Um, I also have been really trying to use up this Tarte Energy lip gloss. This is Energy Noir. So I actually started at the very top here. This was the first update, and now I'm down there. I can see that I'm really using this one up. This one turns into your perfect shade of pink, so as you apply it, it kind of gets a little darker, a little pinkier. I like it. It's a good color on me, and I actually normally put the Tarte Lip Surgeons on in the morning in the shade Magic, and then I'll follow up with this in the afternoon, because it's a little bit more like a stain. So that's why those two have gotten so much love lately. I've also been giving a lot of love to this bourgeois lip gloss. And you might look at these marks and think, what the hell happened? That's what I thought too. <laughs> because I was, this was my first update, or this is where I started, excuse me, this is the first update. I thought I only had this more. And now, look, I got a giant hole in the center. Can you see? Yeah. See, I got a giant hole in the center. <laughs> so I had a lot more lip product in here than I thought. Because I use this up like a crazy person when I first bought this quite a few years ago. And so, and you could see the product. I had a hole right there earlier. But then I, I had this sitting upright for probably a month, using it, trying to finish up that last little bit. And I kind of shook it a little bit like this. And then that hole just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger at the top. Like it wasn't, the hole was no longer here. The hole was here. So then I had to do another mark, <laughs> way up at the top. Oh, the adventures of being a YouTube panner. You thought you were almost done, but then you're only halfway. But the good news is, I now know exactly where I am, which is halfway. So the bourgeois lip gloss has had a lot of use, because I kept thinking I was going to use that one up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is what I haven't really used since the beginning of the year either. As you can see, that is my update from the very beginning of the year. I just started using this this past week because once I got rid of the e.l.f. Luscious Lip, I started using this one. And I really like this shade. This is in the shade Raisin. And this is the Stila Lip Glaze. And I remember why I like these so much. Like, these are really nice. I like the brush tip on them. The product comes up kind of in that middle section of it and you just brush it on and it really is super comfy to wear. 
See, it just adds like that little bit of shine to your lips. And the shade Raisin is kind of perfect summer shade. It's a little bit deeper, but now that I'm in Europe, I don't normally wear bright colors as much out. <laughs> um, because no one really does that here. I didn't realize some makeup trends were really maybe American makeup trends, but they're not as European as they are American, apparently. So I think that's really interesting. Something I'm learning about makeup is makeup is used very differently here in Europe than in the United States. Um, so I now have progress on it. So I'm excited to use this one and get going on it. And my last one, which will hopefully be another one finished next month, is this Tarte Lip Surgeons. This is in the shade Escape. As you can see on the cap there, this is where I started. Then I had one update, and here I am now. I've just got a little nubbin of this left. That's it. That's all that's it. And this is another great summer one. It's got a good shine to it and just a little pink. Can you see that shine? Yeah. It almost has like a silver flecks in here, like silver glitter and a nice pink base. And it's just another really pretty one. I use this one a lot when I'm walking around Europe visiting towns. I've gone to Italy. I'm super excited. <laughs> um, Italy is the place I suppose you wanted to go, so I'm excited that that is where I'm at. So, those are my updates. So let me, once again, count how many I have. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 products that I am working on. And as I said, I've already finished up 9, so I only need to finish up Oh, math. If I finish up nine, I need eight more to go. So eight out of the 11 that I'm working on. And I think if, if I do this correctly, these three will be the next to fall. These are <laughs> the fall. <laughs> these are my next three that I'm going to use up and hopefully next month. So that today, it's August. So in September, I'll have three more empties. That would be amazing. Um, ooh, that's going to be a lot of work. <laughs> I can't touch any of those other ones. <laughs> but if I can do that, then I'll be back on track. Because that will give me 12, and I only have five more to go. And then I'll have September, October, November, December. So I'll have four months to use up five products. Wish me luck. We'll see how it happens. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.